hello guys you're welcome back hope you guys are feeling good thanks for clicking so a preacher uses the quran to expose islam let's find out what happened i asked you a question are you a muslim you ask me a question. are you a muslim uh, yes i am yes. okay now i'll talk to you what's up come on bro now that you want to be honest let's go let's talk what's up my name is Doreen. what's going on what's up my lad nice to meet you nice to meet you too bro what you gotta say huh what you gotta say I, I just want to know, like, so is Jesus God? Yes, sir. Okay, where does it say he's God? In the Bible. Where in the Bible? I told you. I, I wrote, I wrote it to you. Show me, show me so I can go read it. Okay, in uh, Revelation 1.8. 1, 1, Revelation 1.8. The Bible, Jesus calls himself Alpha and Omega. He calls himself beginning and the end. He calls himself the Almighty. There's only one Almighty. Yeah. Maybe okay. maybe you know there's several Almighty. Okay. But in the Bible, there's only one, one Almighty. His name is God. Jesus calls himself Almighty. Let me talk. All right, cool. So, who wrote that revelation? Uh, the Holy Spirit through um, John. So, John through Holy Spirit and then John wrote it. No, that's, that's what I just said, the Holy Spirit through John. Huh. Well, who wrote the Quran? No, no, I'm asking. I'm asking you, who wrote the Quran? I'm asking, do you want to answer me or you want to okay. answer okay, I answer the question. Listen, okay, I'm, maybe, maybe you're not listening. He asked me a question, right? He said, who wrote, first he said, uh, show me Jesus is God. I showed him in Revelations. Then he said, who, who wrote Revelations? I said, John. Now I'm asking you a question. You asked me two questions, I answered. Now I'm going to ask you a question. Who wrote the Quran? Um, I answered two questions. No, bro, that's not how it works. I answered two questions. Your turn. Let me finish. There's nothing to finish. Okay. I have a question, Mike. I have a question for you, okay? Answer my question, and then we can go on to the next thing. Okay, who wrote the Quran? It's, it's written by God. Like, God sent it. Who, I didn't ask you. Who sent, I said, who wrote it? What do you mean, who wrote it? Who wrote it? Who? Who? Yeah. So human beings? Huh? Yes. Okay, so just like human beings wrote the Quran, human beings wrote the Bible. So let's go on to something else. Wait, so does Jesus say I'm God? Yes, I just said. He doesn't say that, bro. That's okay, bro. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, what does Almighty mean? What is all? Tell who's Almighty besides God? Name one person in the history of the world that's Almighty besides God. No, no, that's no, no, no. no. no that's right. It was a question. It was a question. Name someone. It's not an interpretation. It's a question. Name someone that's Almighty besides God. It's Jesus. It's God Himself. Yeah. Amen. And Jesus said, "I'm Almighty." Yeah, it's Jesus. So you answered your question. If you want to be asked, if you want to be an adult, bro, if you if you're gonna try to let, let, just let me just let me help you. Let me help you. If you're gonna try to trap me in my words, you're gonna lose. Cause I, I do this. I do this a lot, bro. Like I'm very good at this. I'm a religious major. I've been studying religion for the last seven years. Muslim. I study Islam too. And my mom, my my my, my ex-wife used to be Muslim. So because, bro, you're not answering my question. I asked you a simple question. And I asked you a simple question, Man. and you're not answering my question. This man okay. take it easy. So, who wrote the Quran? Human beings. Okay, so you said it. The Quran was revealed through an angel. Who wrote the Quran? I'm asking, I'm answering it. Do you want to answer or no? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's his talk. companions wrote it, right? So, man. Human being. A human being. Through an angel, just like you said. Oh, so yours came through an angel. Ours came through God. But okay. So that's right. Ours came through God. Yours came through an angel. Okay, cool. So, you believe... The Almighty God made himself a human being on this earth just so he can prove a point? Bro, it doesn't make sense. So okay, cool. If it doesn't make sense, go on about your business, bro. I'm not here to, I, look, I'm here for people who want to hear the gospel. If you want to be an ignorant Muslim and stay in your lie, stay in your lie. I know, I'm not here to convince you, bro. The Bible says, the Bible says, do not cast your pearls before swine. The fact that you're not listening means that you, means you don't care what the gospel has to say. The Bible says, uh, dust, the, dust the sandals off your feet, I'm going to the next person. You're not listening. So, so me talking to you, it makes me look stupid. You're not talking to him, you're talking, you're not talking with him, you're talking to him. You're right, I am, and I'm talking, that's right, because I'm out here to preach the gospel, I'm not here to talk to people. Now, if, if, you're, willing, if you're willing to listen to what I say and respond to what I say, mean, and I'm willing to listen to you say and respond to what you say, whew, but he's not doing that. He asked me, he asked me who wrote the Bible, right? So human beings wrote the Bible and the Quran. He's trying to make a point. I'm saying to you, whatever you believe in, that's fine, but I'm not, I'm not against that, okay? I'm you're not you're not against Christianity? No, I'm not against Christianity. Do you believe in the Quran? I believe in the Quran. Is the Quran against Christianity? No, they're not. Does the Quran say that, that Jesus is gonna come back and crush the cross? Actually let me teach does you something. The, you let me talk or no? I asked you a question. Let me talk. Okay, does the Quran I asked you a question. Does the Quran say that Jesus is gonna come back and crush the cross? The Quran actually believes in in, in uh in Does the Quran we can go there next. Does the Quran say okay look I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question. Answer the question. Answer the question and then go on. Oh my God. Does the Quran say, okay, I'm not even asking. The Quran says this. Matter of fact, okay. I'll just bring up the Quran because you don't, you don't. The Quran says that Jesus, that God, that, that Jesus is going to come back and crush the cross. That's disrespectful. The Quran, 
the Quran disrespects Christians. So by you saying that you're Muslim, you're automatically disrespectful to Christians where, where because you believe that? what the Quran that? says. Would you like to say that? Yeah, Amen. Where? I'll show it to you. Show I'll show it to you. This guy's ignorant. You and don't the, know what he's talking about. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm ignorant, but I'm, I'm the one going to the Quran. Show, okay. show me in the Quran. Okay. Show, show me. me. So if I show, show if I show you in the Quran, am I still ignorant? Show me and then I'll If I show you in the Quran, am I still ignorant? No. I'm asking you a question. No, you won't. You won't. Okay. Okay. See them. And by the way, for the Quran, the Quran was obtained from God, but people put it together. I know. But it was obtained from God. Okay. But he said an angel. People put it together. Okay, so your, your book came through an angel. Our book came through God. Hallelujah. Okay. You're, 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 you are. The Quran is. The Quran is against my religion. No, it's not. It is. It is. It says that Jesus. Is Jesus going to crush the cross or no? Do you believe, do you believe, in, you believe in Jesus? Yes. You believe in Jesus? As a prophet! Yes. That, did, 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 Jesus can't be God, bro! Get it through your says head! Says who? Says who? Says who? Did, did Muhammad meet Jesus? I'll say it. I'll say it. Did Muhammad Let me say it? Let me tell you. Use your brain, bro. A, ah, a, a God is not going to make himself a human being to prove a point. Get okay. it through your head! So, so tell me about... What took the shit? Have you... Have, pissed? Bro, you like, come on, bro! You gotta understand that! Have you ever, have you ever heard from Allah? Have you, have you ever heard from Allah? Have, you, have Allah has ever, ever talked to you? No. So how the heck do you know what he does? How do you know? No, 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 How do you know? Don't do that. No, don't do that. If you've never heard from, if you've never heard from, if you don't know, if you've never heard from Allah, how do you know if he doesn't prove? How do you know if he doesn't pee? From the Quran. So, but you, have you heard from Allah? So Allah, does Allah speak? Does Allah, let me ask you a question, does Allah? Directly? No, no. So your God doesn't speak to you. Can, can you can you talk? Jesus will come back to crush the cross. I'm talking right now. Yeah. So you're greater than Allah. Why would I be greater than Allah? Because Allah can't talk. Can, does Allah talk? To, can Allah still talk today? Our God still speaks today. No, no, it's not. It's not. You said your God is all powerful. Can your God talk to you? Yes. He did talk. Does he no, give no. Can your God talk to you? I'm talking to you. I'm not talking about Muhammad. I'm not talking about the Quran. Can my God talks to me? I've heard from my God. Can, can your God talk to you? Okay, why, why would God want to You just said, because you, you said that God, you, this is what you said, bro. You said that you know God. By saying that God won't do this, God won't do that, God won't do this, you're saying that you know God. If you're saying that God wouldn't come down as a man, God wouldn't come as a human being, you're saying that you know him. But the fact that you never talked to him, how can you know him to know what he would do? Because your God is silent because he's an idol and you don't know nothing about your God. Shit. Our God has speak and he reveals himself and he came down as a man so we understand our God. You have no idea what your God wants because he can't talk and and the thing is if, if if your God can't talk how do you know the Quran is true if your God can't authenticate the Quran if your God can't come to you and say my son the Quran is true how do you know it's true our God still speaks today hey bro hey bro what you mind your business oh no what happened that was so short but the man was becoming too aggressive it's just a conversation it's not a debate though that was a debate but it was too aggressive and yes that, he wanted to prove us give give us a proof i don't know what happened he should have given us a proof where um it was written in the quran that jesus will come back to crush the cross wow i, I or maybe i'll do my research on that because i don't know what led to that or i might just research it on google to know if that was really true and the part where he said god speak to yes christianity in christianity god speaks that's why you see that in churches the real men of god that are into into prophetic ministry they, they hear from god and whatever the, um, the 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 mind of god says they speak it some of them were speaking the parable some of them will speak it directly and it happens that's to tell you that God really speaks to Christians. And the man was saying that in, in Islam, God does not speak. I don't know why he was questioning. To me, that was not really right for him to say that, how can you know that your God is real, this because he does not speak. That was too much. I'm sure it's because he was, he was kind of aggressive because of the question. You know, the, the question most Muslims keep asking Christians is Trinity. Jesus was not God. That's the two questions they keep asking Christians. I wish there are more questions to to prove apart from the Jesus not being God and the Trinity. Apart from these two, what other questions can you use to counter, you know, the Bible or Christianity and say that okay, this is not a fact. This this is not true. 
get it i really enjoyed the conversation but i wish i really wish the man gave the proof he read it out from the quran that would have you know cleared the whole matter up that was beautiful and he said his wife was once a muslim and she converted to christianity maybe he met his wife as a muslim and now he's preaching the gospel of god to people out there to let them know that god is real jesus is real holy spirit is real yes thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one bye